Welcome to Namaste Today, a positive way to start every day. I'm your host, Christopher Watecki, psychic astrologer and sensei to serious joy. And this is your audio broadcast for Friday, Friday, December 30th, 2016. It is New Year's Eve weekend. Welcome and Namaste. Well, fellow citizen, we are wrapping up another year, and I think today is going to be an ambitious day, but New Year's Eve and New Year's Day will be somewhat mellow yellow. And looking at the planets, it seems that there's a lot of spiritual fate going on. So in today's Zodiac weather, we'll talk about the planets involved with this fate. And in your tea time, I'm going to be talking about your destiny, which is now in motion. But before our date with destiny, let's take a listen in on today's mood and your zodiac weather. This zodiac weather is for Friday, December 30th, 2016. And the global prediction for Earth's mood today, sunny and ambitious. The sun is at step nine. Everyone is feeling the new year ahead. And I think today, Friday, is more dangerous than New Year's Eve. And the moon today will be planning the future in the late degrees of Capricorn. Let's take a look at the planets. Looking ahead at the whole weekend, it's actually today on Friday that I predict you might feel a little anxious or there might be a chance of a mishap. Step 9 rules a day and Mercury is retrograde at step 4. Step 4 is kind of a dangerous step. It's where people will mentally kind of take risk. And the point is, is today you want to be careful today through tomorrow because really Friday is the risk taking day. Now, I believe today you're going to be imagining and kind of envisioning the future, trying to feel out what the future will bring. That's natural really in every New Year's kind of weekend. But with the moon in the high degrees of Capricorn, one literally is trying to feel out the future. The weird thing is, is your mind might feel a little numb, a little inside out. You might be second guessing your normal logic. That's because Mercury is retrograde technology is failing and so are our synapses the really only thing to do is to sit back and watch the whole party in your mind rather than counting on it to kind of conclude anything of course the strange thing is is over the weekend you're going to be literally telling the universe okay this is what i want to manifest this is where we're going to go and because mercury is metrograde it means that whatever you're going forward with now is probably a second attempt at something you've already done or literally a path of a past life that's coming to the present. So as we kick off 2017 uh, over the weekend, you, my friend, are going to be recreating something that will likely manifest. So again, observe your thoughts. Another interesting thing is today Venus is at step 26 and that says that Uh, Today, you are opening up to the big, grand vision of your life and the big, grand kind of finale. So a lot of people looking at the end of the rainbow, I think you will be in particular. And uh, Saturn is at step 21 when it starts to get fun. And so you're probably feeling uh, a new future opening about all sorts of things. This is the unlimited possibilities, Um, kind of a uh, really just being hopeful to a massive scale. That's really the vibration going through the weekend. Now, giving you a little bit of weekend forecast, Saturday you are manifesting. So literally what you be on Saturday is what will come. The moon will be in Aquarius and so you will feel detached. It's actually a very good degree to be social. Uh, You won't feel like you're taking things too personal and you won't feel like Uh, you're pissing off anybody. So it's actually very good, particularly for drunk Americans, this kind of vibration. You will be manifesting your future and holding space for the hope and unlimited possibilities. Uh, And I feel like um, Saturday will be very positive and rather mellow. On Sunday, the day after, I'm not even kidding, it's all about healing, (laughs) okay? I think the healing is just that we're over the hump, we're out of 2016. I think you are feeling a lot and, um, uh, and very sensitive on New Year's Day, just so you know. But not again having to take it too personally. Uh, the moon is in the late degrees of Aquarius. And so uh, I believe you will be feeling, you can see the big picture, feeling the big picture, and feeling a lot of healing. So over the weekend, you are aggressive on Friday, pretty mellow and manifesting on Saturday, and healing 
on Sunday. Now, one thing I want to point out, and this leads going to lead to our tea time, and that has to do with over the weekend, Mars is going to cross over Neptune. Now, it will actually cross at 9 degrees, and that will happen literally on New Year's Eve. This means your destiny is now moving forward. It's in motion. And in today's tea time, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that and what I see about 2017 when it comes to spiritual fate. So go brew yourself some tea and let's have our New Year's Eve weekend tea time. Hello, friend, and welcome to our tea time. Today's tea time topic is appropriate for New Year's Eve weekend, and that is destiny is in motion. And I don't know how long you've been listening to me, but I've been talking about this probably since November that looking at all the planets and the symphony of things going on, I believe that the reason why people were born, the story you were born to live, is playing out right now. And I believe it it began really around Thanksgiving. So around Thanksgiving in the United States, just the third week in November, that was the beginning of your story. So whatever you're doing that week, that's how the story begins. All right. (laughs) And of course, the story begins with, and President Trump was just elected president, you know, like, or whatever. Like it starts with that part of the story. The point is, is that looking at some planets, it looks like fate is taking over at this moment. Now, let me first describe what I believe fate is. I believe fate is something your spirit signed up for already. So there's some things we all said that we definitely want to be able to do when we come down to earth and incarnate. And that is fate. You've set it up and there are forces that just take over and kind of bump you back onto that path if you're not on that path. The people who suffer are usually ones who resist. If you listen to your intuition, you know or sense that things are right even though things feel really off and when fate takes over i will say i've seen it and felt it before things feel really off in fact it's funny things are technically getting on the right track but your ego and your mind feel like something is wrong something might be going on to the wrong track so it's kind of a sophisticated to walk through this moment Now, let me say why I believe that fate is taking over. There's many clues in the astrology. For all you astro nerds out there like myself, you will love this stuff. This is where it's really all spelling out. The biggest thing and the biggest clue I mentioned in the zodiac weather, on New Year's Eve, Mars conjuncts Neptune or conjoins Neptune at 9 degrees Pisces. Now, the way I look at 9 degrees Pisces is I act on self-compassion. That's what 9 really is in Pisces. That we are finally looking out for ourselves and moving forward to the next level. And so this action of self-compassion really is the ascension step where somewhere, somehow, you likely are taking a step of self-compassion where you're looking out for yourself or you're going to make sure you're okay for once. And it's that actual action of self-compassion that graduates you to the next level. So I think, ironically, New Year's Eve is a day where people are technically, truly graduating a spiritual level, that is, if they were ready to, and moving to the next level. And that action compassion works no matter where you are. If you're a master, you move up. If you're elementary, you move up. If you're moderate, you move up. (laughs) Okay, like everyone moves up. And this is part of the expanding, you know, uh, universe and span- expanding consciousness. Every so often, we get a spiritual promotion. So, Mars on top of Neptune literally is destiny in motion. Neptune is a planet that channels destiny. Mars is the planet of action and motion. And on New Year's Eve, those two come together. Now, Venus will follow up later and conjunct Neptune too, which means we open up to it. So there's a lot of interesting stuff there. All this uh, this stellium that's going to happen in Pisces and all this action in Pisces, this is a huge sign that spirit right now is taking over. But there's more signs. Another sign has to do with Mercury retrograde over the new year. It's always been an observation of mine that when we put in place past life stories, and you might go, why do we put in place past life stories? 
Well, it appears that our soul, you know, when their destiny takes over, our soul had this intention like, damn it, I'm going to go down there and this time I'm going to get it right. I mean, those are the type of agreements that our soul wants. Then we get down here and our ego gets a little distracted and we fall in love with this person from this state and get off a little course. And you know, like, as humans, we kind of wander around and every so now and then the planets kind of line up to kind of bump us on track. And one of the things I have noticed is that when we get bumped back on track, usually Mercury is retrograde. And we're in a Mercury retrograde. In a Mercury retrograde, right when Mars conjuncts Neptune. So it's right when we are acting on our spiritual fate that our mind is distracted in a retrograde and we get bumped back onto our course. So that's another sign that spirituality is taking over. But wait, there's actually more. There's Saturn which has just turned to step 21 when it starts to get fun in the sign of Sagittarius. And the truth is, the galactic center and Sagittarius, that is the story we all signed up for. If you look in your natal chart and see where the galactic center is in your chart, that's the story you signed up for. And Saturn at 21 is now technically conjuncting or conjoining the galactic center with a six-degree orb And this tells me that we are now getting real serious about the reason we were born. Saturn serious. Here's the funny thing. Saturn is going to continue direct into 2017 until it hits the galactic center, at which point it will retrograde. (laughs) It doesn't go to 28 or 29. It stops at the center. So I can't even think of anything that is more, see, you're here for what you're here to born to do, what you're spiritual fate is, etc., etc., you know, then Saturn beginning to conjunct the galactic center. And I'll tell you, when I first began in astrology and I looked ahead of the years I thought would be most exciting, this next year, 2017, is one of them that I thought, as a young astrologer, I got to tell you, now that I'm here, it ain't so much fun. <laughs> you know, like, but uh, this was the one that looked like it was going to be most exciting. And I think a lot of it's because human free will is not getting in the way. Fate is taking over. We're all returning to the position we began the game is game in and we're all beginning the story we were born to live one little last clue i'll leave you with uh for your new year's eve weekend and that's black lilith now i don't know if you know uh, black lilith but she pretty much shows us astrologers where humans are facing their fears right now and black lilith right now is at step 25 scorpio now step 25 is again spirit so basically we are facing Um, Our fears around seven, our spiritual story going wrong, Scorpio, a boundary issue. So on top of all this of facing and moving towards our spiritual purpose, we're also facing the fears of if something went wrong with with following our spiritual purpose. (laughs) Like So God could not be any more clear. Well, my friend, I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Please be safe, be responsible, take care of yourself. It's a fascinating time. We're about to see the story you were born to live unfold. I believe many fascinating details unfold in 2017. And you don't want to be outed in the first act of the movie. You want to make it to the final and see how this all turns up. Do remember in New Year's uh, and in 2017, it has been a pleasure to be of soul service in 2016. And I'm honored to return in 2017. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Remember, Sensei loves you. And live, love, be.